Guess what it is, Jack? It's the Dane's Low Weekly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we had a little bit of a mishap guys. So Sam has been using these lovely holds for all of his tools you see and he may have just uh, knocked his hammer off. Proper clown mistake that was. That, I've had that hammer years. I ain't losing that for Down love there, money. somewhere. Oh, you can see it, it boy. Oh I can see it. We put down here and all sorts of jack. From Vowles Disease Central this is. the lever counter to the lever look at that look there oh yeah free from desire baby that there the proper proper east wing hammer all you carpenters out there being happy to see that i have two of them but i always ask for the black one to be put back in the box it's too heavy this one is a nice lightweight East Wing. I had it many years. It's in better days. <laughs> There's his toes. Lovely, lovely piece of equipment. Yeah. Oh, I'm of the mind, uh, and this is probably because I'm not uh, I'm not big in the a game. Hammer's a hammer. A hammer's a hammer. But it's not, mate. It's it, so much more. It's a weighty, flat bit of metal to hit things in with. No, it's not, mate. All you carpenters that watch us, if there is any, put in the comments why an East Wing hammer is good. I mean, you all got S Wing, they call it, don't they? S Wing. Uh, why they're so good, you're all going to say they're shit now, but I think they're brilliant. Bloody brilliant they are. So if you want to sponsor us, Esprin, <laughs> free hammers. Send us some hammers. They're, if you do, I'll say they're more than just a flat bit of metal to hit things in with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it's better than a sledge. Yeah. Oh, and one thing I hadn't said, guys, is that on this side, there's these sort of support steel bars for the wall. So we're having to notch round them, you see, a bit of notching, notch, notch, notch. No notch. I'm going to notch through I'll that. Notch one out, Jack. Uh, and uh, uh, the good thing is that the the rip saw, uh, I can set it at a lower level and simply uh, chisel that away with the rip saw rather than using a chisel. Okay. Lovely, lovely bit of notching. You see. <laughs> How you all getting on there at home watching us? How you getting on? Jack is cutting down there. The boys, oh, cut me head, look. Oh, the boys are around there doing some uh, door removals. Me and Jack are doing a bit of this. Just reading the comments from Wednesday's video when we started this job. Uh, we just had a comment saying, uh, is it a plastic welder? No, it's not. I'm going to reveal to you all what it is now, even though Jack's been giving them the thumbs up in the comments. Yeah, and also the, the, on Friday's video last week, we told them. We told you already. I have a memory like a sieve. Uh, Jack, me and Jack watched a video yesterday of what we're going to put out and I forgot even filming it. <laughs> Didn't I, Jack? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, any scrappers, N-E, not any scrappers, N to the E to the scrappers, or scrapers, I think it's scrappers, uh, wants a shout out. So uh, G to the B, boy, G to the B. So this is how bad Sam's memory is. If you watch the Strugglers video when he first come up to see us, yep. as he drives up to the yard, you'll see a huge effing great stack of hay bales, straw bales. That is a, a stack. And so this morning Sam said, when they get delivered then? And that's what, two months have been there. He drives past them every day, at least twice. Uh, long term, I'm not too bad. Short term, I'm... Yeah. It's gone, mate. Yeah, it's terrible. It's gone, isn't it? Right, here you go. He'll show look. me clips that Jack's put together throughout the week, and I will not even remember filming them, will I? No. But uh, yeah, any scrappers, shout out for you. If you want a shout out on this channel, just give us a comment, innit, Jack? Drop us a comment. We'll Drop us a comment, mate. We'll shout you out, mate. What it, what it, what it does to you is it ni it's nice to hear your own name on the TV, isn't it? So when you're watching YouTube and your name comes out of the screen, it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, well, you know, it is. Yeah, no, it is. My kids it, like... It my gives kids, you a sense of fame. My kids, although they think it's boring as hell, the first time I showed them that us on YouTube, they were like, you're on YouTube. And that's where the fascination ended. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah. So if you want one, give us a shout. Up. Thought come see how these two are getting on. Oh, look, there's no doors. There's no doors. I wonder where they've gone. Where have they gone? 
No, George. Oh, I think that might be them over there. Lying down over there. We're just getting the rails off now. And then, that might even be timber. No, it's a steel box. All a long way to get off. Lovely. Right, let's finish this last bay. So we've got to do this end now, guys. So we've got to get timber up under this uh, steel so the concrete board can fix top and bottom. That's what we're going to do. One side up, we're gonna go have some lunch. Oh, I know, we're gonna go see a quote actually. Both three will have lunch. We'll see a quote. We're back on site, guys. Went to see the quote, stopped at a little bit of lunch. Uh, not gonna lie, going back to the unit, going back to the unit at uh, lunchtime. lunchtime does give us a false sense of oh we're finished for the day we are back at the workshop but of course we're not finished for the day we've got to crack on do some more work so we need some motivation so we're probably going to turn the radio up very loud and sing sing hallelujah uh, we are right on the edge of the road we can see the cars and wave at the cars hello there hello Right, this side's nearly done, then we've got to do that side and then work our way round to probably 340 mil. Oh, we've got an off cut for that. So we're in the uh, garden shed, guys, next to the main barn. There's not many garden sheds around the world that are brick built, Jack. No. They're normally timber construction. What do you need now? How are you going to do that? And we're putting these lovely brackets on to tie the timber work down to the block work. Lovely. SDS drill. The lovely manufactured uh, uh, brackets. Looking for the word. There it is. Found it. Plucked it from the air. And I'm going to do it up now. Yeah. Some clown behind the wall. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Good morning there. Hello. Hello. All right. Go up with the rat carcass in here. Is that fully? Is that fully depth? She used to be her problem. Well, it would seem that the uh, carefully manufactured brackets are not adequate. Is that over engineering of his? Not quite right. Can you find the whole Sam? A little bit of fluff around it, mate. I might be able to just get that. Well, I can't. I'm sorry. James! James! <laughs> James! No, you have to go and get a bit of two of them. Well, we just get. I mean, he's got a threaded bar. He's getting cut some threaded bar and we'll just wind on each side. Yeah, whatever, but it's about an inch longer. About an inch longer. Well, how far? Yeah, about an inch longer. Okay. So I'll get this bracket on here, Jack. Yeah, I'll get an inch longer. One of the only jobs that you'll see Sam wearing goggles, cutting tin with a ripsaw. As I said the other day, it's horrible. Have you ever done it? It's nasty.
So guys, first uh, cut bit of tin going up. Uh, and the door's down, you would have just seen that. But the door's down, finally. It's a, a little bit of a uh, drawn out affair. Uh, the struggle was real. And so now Andy's taking off this chute, this pipe, because obviously they protrude through the boards and there's no need for it. Uh, yeah. Although it won't, because that's below where the door's going. Anyway, it needs to come off. So yes. And then we need to get the rest of this tin up. Lovely stuff, guys. So the rip saw is not having none of it. It's overheating. So we might need to get out of service. Because that shouldn't be stopping like it is. I mean, it's running now, but I only get a metre cut and then it kicked out. So we have got some extension leads and the nine inch grinder, uh, which does cut uh, far easier, but then I'll spray out some crap on your legs and uh, wear anyway, shorts. Anyway, hey ho. Uh, that's us for the day, guys. At the at the barn, at the barn roofing. Well, I can hold it up, and then you can drill that bit, and then by the time we go up there, I'll hold it, and you go up there and hold it more, mate. Connor's uh, Connor's doing a bit of uh, electrical box uh, protection, so it's going to be very wet tomorrow. Apparently, James, the farmer, said there'd be uh, be uh, 15, 20 mil of rain tomorrow, so it'll be very wet. So watch this space for us not being here potentially. Uh, Andy is actually ditching for another, another customer. So it's just us lot. Anyway, we are putting up this polythene to protect the electrics. Simple, simple, simple. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got to finish off this timber work. We need timbers, 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 brackets and timbers, and then concrete board and guttering. Oh, it makes it sound like the tinning was the easy part. I know it was. Four tonner started, it's going with Andy tomorrow. Andy's doing a bit of ditching tomorrow. Ditching, boys. So he's got the three tonner with him and the four ton dumper uh, just down the lane, doing a bit of ditching. So he can ditch into the four tonner, drop it off. Job's a good one. Lovely. Well, I'm going to go upstairs and have a coffee, I think, and have a week first. Hi, guys. So uh, it's Wednesday here today, all day, and uh, obviously Wednesday's video dropped this morning. And for some reason, it looks like a knockoff DVD. The sound is like a split second ahead of the talking. So it looks a bit odd. Someone mentioned it earlier and I was like, no, of course it's not. And then someone else mentioned it and I was like, oh, best have a look. And yep, yeah, you're right. It's actually a knockoff copy of our episode we bought down the pub from knockoff Norway. Uh, normal service, hopefully resumed Friday. Wednesday done. Wednesday ticked off. Uh, back in tomorrow. Yeah, Wednesday. Done, mate. Done. Tick that off. Tick ticked Wednesday off, off. Tomorrow I'll be ticked off as well tomorrow night. Yeah. It's, uh, it's quite sad, actually, that Wednesday's coming to a close. Look at that little hairy beast, isn't he? Yeah. Connor's, Connor's wearing a beard. Connor's and wearing a beard. To connect. Connor, said, Connor said, you can't be 25 and not have a beard. Yeah. And so he's given himself three years. Yeah. You know what, Connor, mate? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I'll go up the top, Jack. Do a bit of the camper. Yeah. Mate. Goodbye, Chucky. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. A good morning, you glorious, glorious bunch. Thursday morning here, uh, half past seven. And today's jobs are going to go down as thus. Uh, Andy's on a bit of ditching today. Jack told you yesterday. So we've got the four-ton dumper, the old but gold four-ton dumper, and the Yanmar three-tonner going up the road only about a mile up the road. 
Let's do a bit of ditching. It looks like, we've been checking the weather forecast this morning and it looks like we're gonna get very, very wet today on the roofing job. Plus the farmer's going away for a couple of days. So we're pulling off that till Monday now. And we are gonna go down the yard, the new yard, and get the laminate flooring done in the uh, porter cabin shop area, customer surface area. Yeah, we're gonna get all that done. So we're gonna be on the laminate flooring hype today. What else? Chunky's gonna get on with wiring down there because now we have mains power into the porter cabin. Chunky's gonna start coming off of that with plug sockets and lights. Um, what else? We've got to take the old cable off that Jack neatly put in the other month along the bottom of the cabin. We've got to take that off. And I think it's too wet to do drainage today because obviously we might get a landslide in the world's deepest trench that we dug. And we don't want any cave-ins, do we guys? You all know that. So we're gonna probably do the drainage tomorrow when it's a bit drier. Finish that off tomorrow and get the first post in for the bays. That should then G us up to do the rest of the posts for the bays. How are you getting on there, Connor, with that lock, mate? Are you, you're getting a bit stuck, mate, are you, mate? You all right, mate? Connor's got his new headband on today, guys, and he's freshly shaved, aren't you, Connor? Yeah. Yeah. Happy chappy, as always. Happy chappy. So, yeah. Where's Jack? Where's Jack? Jack! Hi there. How are you today? Hi. <laughs> Ordered Sam a new case. It's Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Ordered Sam a new case to uh, crisp up the image. Yeah, Matt, much to uh, Jack's disgust, when I asked him yesterday, I said, order me a new case, Jack. Uh, he said, you've only had it two months, and we discussed this back and forth. A few, a few words here and there. To be fair, I go through shorts every two months. I was, I was going to say at the <laughs> time, actually, you know, I'm, I'm, the one, I'm the one in the company that does go through stuff a lot less than others across the board, really. So I've got a new case coming. So come. When's it going? Uh, it should be on today. So come tomorrow, you will see this and this in a better light. Crisp. Everyone needs to see you in a better light, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I just showed them Connor's new shave. Yeah, Connor's had a shave. And his hairband. I've got the mullet growing still. Jack's got Apparently the mullet. Apparently it's the new uh, short back and sides, is what I hear. Is that what you hear? Yeah, someone commented. I'm just going for the normal shave off the top. Uh, we went up to the uh, camper this morning and uh, I showed Jack a few jobs that I've been ticking off the list. We're not going to do an update for probably a week or two because there's a lot of good stuff happening and I want to get it done before we show you. Yes, and I also said that uh, you've, we've got a new impetus to get it done. Uh, more on that to come. Yes, uh, the deadline has been set. I set my own deadline. Uh, Sean, you'll be happy to know that you probably will win the bet. Uh, of course, I don't know how much the bet was. But well, no, because the, the weekend before is the last weekend of April. Oh, the yeah, so April. yeah, so it will be done by the last day of April, Lance. So, ah. uh, yeah, we have a new deadline. The deadline is set now, isn't it? It's is set in stone. It's in stone. And I'm really hoping and praying that I can work my guts out and get the camper 95% finished, ready for this event. Oh, it's an event. They now know it's an they event. They know it's an event. Oh, and they know it's locked in. Oh. So if you're going to guess what event it is. And they know it's the weekend after the last weekend in April. Yes, we're giving away too many clues. Yeah. Yeah, so if you do know, if you can guess what event the camper is going to be ready for, drop it in the comments below. Below this comments. video, drop it in there. And actually, uh, a lot of people, and this is probably going to be like two weeks after this happened, a lot of people got the tyre cutter question right. Yeah, I was. I started to reveal cut. it yesterday, but Jack already told me that I'd already revealed it. Uh, lack of memory, uh, that's why. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. I was on a little roll then, and I've forgotten. Uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And uh, share this video about. Click. Let's see if we can, let's Click. see. I've got a little task for you lot at home. Little task. Uh, it will make our day if you can do this. Let's see if we can make this video the most liked video out of all the Dane's Low catalog. There's 46 up there now, isn't there? 46 videos. 46 videos. I think so. Yeah. All right, so you guys, that's it. Hell, Chunky. Chunky's smashing the place up. Look at the fruit Uh That's a little task for you lot, a little job for you. 
get this video more likes than all the others. That's what we're aiming for, aren't we, Jack? I want to see ting, tick, 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 all the way. Tick, tick, boom. Tick, tick, boom. So yeah, righto, are you filming? Jack's filming for the day of Danzo vlog. Yeah, so Sam gets uh, like one four minute video a day. I get 80, 30 second videos a day. Yeah, this is nearly six minutes long now, Jack. Yeah, I've cut a little bit. We haven't got to cut this, mate. This is pure... Uh, Unadulterated raw, raw waffle. Raw footage, mate. Raw footage. Anyway, crack on. Go on, mate. How you doing on, mate? So guys, other than getting loaded up, one of the first jobs today is to sort the air leak out on the steering column of the grab. <coughs> we have got a new switch. Uh, that's on charge. That one is not. Take that with us. Lovely. So yes, I will show you the said air leak and show you the, the fixing of that. Okay. So guys, yeah, Andy's ditching today. So he's taking the three tonner and the four tonner because there's quite a lot of green waste. And now Connor's gonna try and get the bucket into the dumper without smashing through the roof. Yes. You've got to learn, got to learn guys. Danes Lowe's second best digger operator after yours truly. Right, I'm going to take the dumper and you take the digger. So guys, this is where Andy is working. Uh, again, not far from the farm, not far from the farm. Uh, this is actually a field that's owned by our farm. That's how close it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is the ditch in question that Andy is having to sort out. So from this entranceway here, all the way along here, so there are land drains running across his meadow into here. But as you can see, guys, it's not been looked after, not been maintained. Uh, it uh, doesn't really flow. I mean, there's a lot of water sitting in it. I mean, it has been wet lately, but he's got to clear it all the way down here. There are some beefy stumps he's going to try and have a little pull about on. I mean, the three tonner might touch some of them. Those two seem pretty substantial, though. So I doubt even the three tonner will get them out. But uh, yeah, he's got to clear it all the way down here to, where is it? Yeah, so look, all of this green, all of this greenery has got to come out, hence the four tonner, because the guy's going to, Andy's going to take it around and tip it in the guy's uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, compost heap. Well, I imagine it's not ready for this much green waste, because look, look at it all. There's a lot to come in. And uh, where does it even stop? I mean, there are a few drains coming off the road. Let this car go past. So yeah, take it all the way down here. You see where this post is in the field? That's where the drain, that's where the pipe was under the road. And all the way down there, under the field, to that post. So, and he's got to clear it all the way to here. Clear it all the way to here, dig this bit out, and then somewhere in there is an inlet. Uh, I mean, I can see it sort of flowing. It takes it under the road to, to that outlet there. I can hear it coming out, so it's flowing through, but just not very far. So maybe I'll give it a bit of a rod as well. Although we won't have his rods with him. We can bring him up later. So yes, guys, that's the job ditch it from here all the way up to there and hopefully help this guy's meadow drain more effectively. Lovely. Right guys, in the grab, fixing the uh, steering wheel air lock adjustment switch. So new switch in place. We have three pipes coming off of this. Now to get to the bottom of all of them inside here is a nightmare. So we are cutting and joining. 
So we've marked them all up with tape, which pipe corresponds to which switch mechanism. So yeah, we're just about to rejoin. I will film it once it's done, but we're getting there. Uh, it seems I've come back and the struggle is real, guys. You having fun, Sam? <laughs> I mean, there's jobs, mate, and there's jobs. It's just so fiddly, they make it so fiddly. And what they do, same dashboard, and they put seven different size nuts on it, mate. <laughs> just stick to the same size, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just a, just a test you. Fucking test me? I've been hollering and swearing. I have Jack. I say. Yeah. Uh, Sam's got a lot of skills. One of them isn't. One of them that isn't is patience. Uh, you can always tell when a job's been delayed by a couple of minutes because you'll start hearing a lot of effing and jeffing. But we're getting there. New switches in. I think just connecting it up. Oh yeah, I'll cut one of them junk, mate. That come hooning out of there. Look at this, laying out, isn't it? That piece of, piece of piston in that. Uh, yeah, so that's the new switch back on, back on. Now it's just the uh, <laughs> plastics to uh, refit. Uh, obviously, with the forty-five different heads. Luckily, we've got a lovely big toolbox. I don't know. Quite a calm individual, I think. Air switch, all done in the grab. So Charlie's gonna come back and get it later. We're gonna take a load of muck from the yard, uh, where Chunky is, to the new tip, Cavanum SRC. Uh, we're going to go to the barn job, get some tools, get the telehandler, uh, what we call that, cherry picker ready because that's been collected today, and then head down the new yard. Oh yes, we yes we are. And here's Connolly, freshly shaven. Yeah. Lovely. Here to get tools, guys. Here to get some tools. Oh yes. We're down here, guys. Feels like we haven't been down here for weeks. Feels good to be here. We'll have a little look around. Look, we're here. We are here. Wet day, you see, so we're going to get in the porter cabin and do the flooring. So look around here, make sure everything's okay. Everything's still here. Yeah. I can't wait to be moved on here full time. It's going to be epic. Since we've last been here, the electrician has been in and run a new beefier cable beefier cable because we're gonna have showers and heaters running off electrics beefier cable along the other end of the cabin and put us a new box up look at this look at this just need to get some breakers in there chunky can start running electrics today absolutely amazing flooring electrics uh, plumbing, the foul water drainage is connected now, so we can actually start plumbing. There's the laminate, there it is. We've got two layers of underlay, got the hoover with us, so we have a nice hoover through. Yeah, spot on. I don't know what to do about this bit here. What we really want is some nice corner section. Cover that up. Well, let's get unloaded, get cleaned up, and get flooring. Uh, little workshop being developed here, guys. Chunky's got his electrical bench, uh, tools. We're gonna have the chop saw here, so we have some light. Uh, let's go and get that. I thought I'd come have a look at the new electricity stuff. So obviously, yeah, they put the new cable. You would have seen me spend about four or five minutes on my ass pinning our cable up, but it wasn't big enough. So they put a nice new cable in and what looks like a nice 
box on the side of the building up there. I thought I'd come have a look in here now that it's got a board in it. Wowzers, look at that! Open. Look at that, guys. So this is a three-phase distribution board, I imagine. Uh, so we've got, obviously, yeah, that's the breaker for the board that Chunky's working on. And then we'll need to put breakers in for everywhere else. I'm not sure how you do a three-phase. I mean, why would I? I'm not an electrician. Although I did start an electronic engineering degree in Southampton, but we didn't really touch on uh, consumer boards. It was more... Uh, uh, yeah, Boolean Algebra. That's one for you guys. Oh, look, nice a new earth rod in there. Well, very professional. And then we had a build to go with it. That was very professional as well. The professionals know how to charge, you see, guys. But no, good job, well done. Cheers to our friend, Martin McCarthy. Uh, yeah, lovely. And it's lockable as well, look at this. Double locks. Right, I'm going to nip this uh, MKM and get some of that sort of foam floor protection matting so that once we've laminated, uh, we can protect the floor while we're sort of under development, as it were. All right, oh, and get a free coffee. Lovely stuff. So, guys, laminate is going down. Sam and Connor are the no shoe crew laying the flooring. And I'm doing the, some might say, more skilled task of uh, uh, precision cutting. Uh, what I am going to do is change the blade on the jigsaw, because I don't know if you can see that, guys. That blade isn't straight anymore, so it keeps wanting to cut to the right. And it's not giving my precision the, uh, the kudos it deserves. You, so well, You can't pull up with that can you, Jack? Exactly. Preciseness. Exactly, I can't, I haven't got the... It's you know, wiggling you, isn't it? Yeah, so that one there's a bit can't shorter. be, but be more precise. Speed wood. I mean, I don't need it to be fast, I need it to be precise. Exactly. Yeah, right. Someone say we need some more bits, Jack. Yeah, we do need some more blades. box carries is just one jigsaw. One jigsaw and, and a few little blades in there. Yeah. Well, well, this, this, this was a skip find, wasn't it? Chunky doesn't mind drilling wagon holes in the wall. Does he look not square? I mean, bite Chunky, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Bang! That's right, we've got some temporary power, guys. This is temporary, guys. Do not be alarmed by the temporariness of the cabling. I'm sure Chunky will come back and neaten it all up. Be lovely, mate. A couple of lights in here. Yeah. A couple of lights next door. Yeah, lovely. Right, I'm going to change this blade. We're going to go and have a cup of coffee. Okay. We are interior decorators slash interior installation uh, people today. Look at the flooring look. It's coming down a tree. We're laying laminate flooring. That's what we're doing in here, guys. Laminate flooring, a couple of lights, a couple of plug sockets. And then this room is ready, isn't it? Go for a nice grey, grey looking laminate. It's rather easy to lay actually. I've had quite a few laminate floors laid in the past and they've all been a bit of a bugger. But this one's rather nice. Well, Jack's on the uh, cutting. Yo, yo. Oh, you're getting on. Yeah. Connor's uh, just Connor and not doing a lot really. But we have all this to lay. Oh, thumbs over the, and again. 40, 46 square metres. Quite a lot. But well, we're going to get this room done today, aren't we? Get it done. Get this room done, then we get the bar in here, get the reception area set up. Uh, yeah, get the bar for a reception, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be a bar. Yeah, it's not a bar, we're not going to pour points. <laughs> we haven't got that sort of licence. Uh, and then we're going to get all the pricing on the walls and stuff and... Uh, Shit. Connor, mate, we're on film here, mate. Do you know what I mean, mate? Look at Connor, look. Jack Greenish. Look, Connor, come on, mate. You're part of the Danes Low team, mate. Look. Jack Greenish, eat your heart out, mate. Fresh. Isn't he, mate? Love Fresh. Love Fresh. Love Connor is a pretty boy, aren't you, Connor? Yeah. He likes to he likes to get all the latest hip hop stuff. Everything he wears is designer. That's no, vintage. That's oh, vintage. 2050. Yes, 90s. 90s vintage. Because Connor is a bit old school. But today he looks like Jack Greenish with his hair to the band. Yep.
Uh, what are you guys? Just uh, visiting a quote. What are you? Australia, what are, mate. What are in what has been voted the best uh, looking village in Britain many years in a row, and I think always gets best looking village in Essex. We are full of facts of the uh, countryside, aren't we, Jack? It's Finchingfield. Uh, Essex. Essex, hell of a place. It's where I watched the Tour de France come through. Picture here. I wonder if you can spot me. Uh, and yes, we are going to. If you had that mullet at the time, they might have done. Uh, no, I'm uh, I'm face painted like a tiger. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> uh, we are going to nip past. Oh, we're going to nip past Jamie Oliver's house actually on the way back to the yard. Uh, that you would have seen in the Strugglers video because he put a nice picture up about it. That was a good picture, wasn't it? That was a good picture because he lives on the same road. He's our neighbour, basically. Yeah. Uh, we're going to pop in for a bar, uh, uh, some bar, some brown sugar. Can I borrow some brown sugar? I uh, know oh we're going to go see Andy quickly, ditching, see how he's getting on. Uh, and uh, they do love flying around these private roads. Courier drivers, mate. That's what um, it is, courier drivers. Never get over, stop where they fucking want. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see Andy quickly, see how he's getting on with the ditching. And then head back to the yard. Uh, yeah, lovely. It's all that beaver fencing still, isn't it? Yeah, he's got beavers. There are beavers, guys. Beavers and ducks. He's got beavers and ducks on his land. And uh, no, it's not. Isn't it's it? It's Spain's farm. Yeah, but it's beaver fencing. And they're not linked, I don't think. They are. Nah. Oh no, it's because he hired the digger, didn't he? Yeah, he hired the digger. Yeah, no, they're not linked. They're not linked. Okay. Yes, guys, so we're just about to go past Jamie Oliver's pad. It is a proper manor, It, it? is and a manor. And he's never there. It's, no. it's basically his weekend home. Well, no, he is, because he's Land Rover. No, uh, that's a, Land Rover. No, it's a prop. There. No, that's his, that's, his, that's his daily, isn't it? Uh, hey. he, they recently put this bund in, so you can't really see the house. Yeah. Uh, but it's just over there. All new fencing, look. Yeah. You know, that sits there as a prop, mate. It's not there, so he's not in. It's gone. He's not in today. But yeah, that's his pad right there. Spain tool. There he is on the phone. All right, Jamie. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, 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 hey. Thank you, mate. It's a bottle of nice. <laughs> just, just a bottle of nice, Jamie. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that was Spain tool, Finchingfield, Essex. Lovely. That's a bit wet, guys. That's a bit wet. Look at this. Flashes all, all galore. It's cracking on, isn't it? Cracking right on. Well, it's definitely a lot clearer than it was this morning, guys. I don't think it's probably, I doubt it's ever been ditched. That's all the green waste, I guess. It was too wet to get down to the fire. I just need some dry weather now, get this bank to dry out. Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't look very neat because of all the mud, but it is actually a very neat ditch now. Lovely. So we get back and Connor's put on Kistery and it's having an effect it's having an effect on Chunky. Look at him look. Cat back mate. Jeez. You cat backwards now, Chunky mate. Gee, unit. Right. We're back on site after seeing our quote, seeing Andy. Here's Connor, there he is guys, look. Lovely. And Mr. B Mr. Bates turned up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Had to take a quick trip back to the old yard, guys. Uh, I need to take some 20 mil stone down so we can finish the drainage off tomorrow. And we've got a friendly local customer who is literally working there, just the other side of that hedge, uh, to get some type one. So I've come back to load him up, get some 20 mil. And I've also realized that we're actually running low on a few things. So I've put, just put an order in. Yeah, Type 1 Bay is looking sorry for itself. Can't wait to have big bays down the new yard. Lovely. These are 20, like 20, 30 ton bays. 60 ton bays is where we're at. Right, I'm going to load up the 20 mil while I wait for old matey. Yeah, yep. That is the floor in the customer shop area. Finished. I don't know why when I move this camera fast, my phone doesn't focus. Let's go wide. We're on wide shot now, guys. 
that's the floor finished. I've just got a bit of a door sill trim, a fresh hold sort of piece of wood to go here. And then I'm gonna trim up the sides. And then yeah, laminate flooring, done and dusted. We haven't made it, because there's a, a lot of middle aisle of shelves going here for tools and there's all racking going down here and stuff like that. We haven't made all the joints meet, you know, halfway because we're just working with what we got and we've got just enough to do the, the rooms. So yeah, it just falls where it falls, guys. But it's done, it's down, it looks nice, neat and tidy. Hi guys, back from the aggregate loading. And yeah, lino's all done, lino. Uh, well, that stuff is, laminate's all done. Uh, and we're working on electric. Look at this, we've got some strip lights going up and plug points and We've got one going up there for a telly. And uh, Sam and Connor are marking these ones out in here. Strip lights and plug sockets and all sorts of good stuff. We've got to put a chunkier one up above the door for the fan, the curtain heater. And then chunkier was saying we're going to need bigger ones for the bathrooms and stuff, for the water heaters, the geezers, as Chunky calls them. So yes, what a day. Other than bays, you can trade. Buzzing. Hi guys, so we finished for the day in there because we've got lots of stuff to do. Sam's gonna load a load up for Chunky because Chunky's gonna start running in a load a day uh, into Cavanum because uh, we've got obviously this muck from scraping up here and the muck from scraping up the, over at the other farm. Uh, then we've got to head back to the yard and pick the digger and dumper up from Andy's ditching job. I'll show you that as well. Uh, it's been very wet today, so I imagine he's mucky and puppy. Uh, yes, I'm going to go help Connor. Well, that land drain's running better, that's for sure. That's hotting out of there, it is, people. Lovely, freshly ditched ditch. So it's a bit of a puppy job, but compared to earlier, I mean, I'll chuck up a before picture and then an after picture. So yeah, quite a big difference. But he's, the guy who lives here is draining his moat, because we've all got a moat, and so uh, the ditch is filling up somewhat at the end because the drain is quicker than the pipe under the road. It's flowing well, look. Lovely. So the water is flowing so well now from his land drains into the ditch and flowing down the ditch so well uh, that actually the pipe under the road, they've been rodding it all afternoon and there's, there's something either wedged in there or a bit of it's collapsed. Uh, so it's, it's not going through the, the pipe under the road quick enough. I mean, you can see it's coming out of here, down there, straight across the field to that post there, but it's not coming through that pipe quick enough, which means it's backing up a bit. So where there once was an overgrown ditch, there is now a lovely pond, I suppose another moat for the house. But uh, yeah, cracking job. Hopefully, I mean, our landlord at the farm owns this ditch. The landowner, this guy, owns this ditch, so hopefully together they can dig, dig some of the pipe out, see if they can repair it, or who knows. But hopefully once the moat's drained, because the moat's draining, which is most of this water, uh, the flow rate is adequate enough. Yeah, the main job was to get the meadow to not lay as wet, which I think we will have achieved. Okay, back to the yard. Three tonne of back, guys. Just gonna get Connors to give it a bit of a wash. It's covered in ditch dirt and smelly boggy old wet stuff i'm gonna go inside and uh see what's going on oh, oh. Blast. Oh. <laughs> look at his face look come on mate did it really mate leave it in the yard mate we'll use that down in the yard mate That's my bar alarm. bye connor oh yes sir it's uh end of the day End of the day, Thursday. End of the day, Thursday, to the mic to the sea. Going home. Me and Jack and the boys are all going home now. Chunky, uh, Granddad Chunky is taking Connor home. 
because Connor has not got on the road yet and he's just annoying everyone. No one locking the door then? <laughs> Anyone locking the door? Someone, yeah, the morning, someone, someone lock the door. Take you, mate, see you in the morning. Do you like carrots? <laughs> oh, I do actually. <laughs> I do like carrots. <laughs> Uh, to the pit, mate. Goodbye, see you tomorrow, then. Yes, bye, bye, mate. Bye. Morning, people. Morning. Friday morning, and it is wet as you like. We are already down the new yard. Uh, jobs today. We're, Chunky's got new lights and sockets and stuff up, we just need to wire them, and Sam is anal, and so he has to put string lines, laser lines, make sure that every single one is there within a millimetre of the cable, so he's cracking on with that. And me, Andy and Connor are gonna get this bad boy in. So this is our flow control chamber that we had to put in to limit the amount of water coming from the site into the surface water sort of main drain. Uh, and it does that by using uh, something very technical, which is a very, very small hole. So six inch pipe comes in, 35 mil hole comes out, which reduces the flow. Obviously this chamber itself, oh, water now, look, water now. this chamber is completely sealed. So it acts as an attenuation tank. So the water will fill this up and this will slowly but surely eke away. Now, the only thing going into this is the gutter from here. So it's never gonna overflow, really. And if it does, then we'll have to put in an attenuation tank next to it, but this will suffice. So I'm gonna get on my Michelin Man waterproof suit that was actually bought for Mitch, Sam's brother, who is eight foot tall and as wide, if not wider than I am. So it's like wearing a marquee. Uh, yes, I'm gonna get that on and hopefully we've got enough bends to, uh, to get us round the corners we need. Okay, guys. Good morning, good morning, everyone. It's Friday, it's a happy, happy Friday here. Uh, and the only thing that isn't happy is the weather. You can't really see it there, but it's absolutely carking it down, guys. It's puppy and wet. The boys are down the bottom there. Down here, bob bob, down there doing the drainage. Uh, got a wet screen now, hold on. So they're down there, me and Chunky, the absolute electrical supremo that he is. Isn't that right, Chunky, mate? Look at him, look, look. Concentration on that face, look. He's got his specs on, look. He's wiring up the lights, look. Cool dude. Yep. <laughs> so Chunky's wiring up the lights. I'm running all the cables along the walls for switches, lights, plug sockets, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we're going to get the tea hut, the little staff room area done and hopefully the lights next door in the shop today. Try and get it all powered up. But we're going to run all the... Because we we were going to use trunking to hide the cables, but just hassle in it. So we're just going to be really neat and tidy with the uh, cabling. Yeah. So it's coming along. We'll have power in here soon. So when this uh, room is lit up, I will reconvene and show you what it's like. Lovely, jubbly. Coming along, it's nice to have uh, a few days down here. And just get it done. The floor's all done in there. Yeah, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Right, viewers at home, this is an important time for Dane's Low. This is the switch on. We haven't put the switch back in its housing yet, nor have we pushed the lights up and fixed them, as in they're still dangling. Because we want to try them, see if they work. Chunky's wired it up in the fuse box, and now is the moment of truth. Let there be light. <laughs> hey, Chunky! You've done it again, mate, you've done it again. Chuffed the bits of that, didn't you, mate? Yep. <laughs> you chuffed the bits of that, didn't you, Chunky? Oh, I like them, mate. That's a nice, warm glow, Chunky. Look at that, look. <laughs> look at that, guys. Huh? That is the first bit of power off the main board down this yard in forever. Forever. We've turned it from a bare patch of land into what it is now. And it's the first actual mains power light to ever go on on this piece of ground. Now, isn't that a good
good bit of uh, positivity, huh? But great, in it. So that's one room down, one more to go. Yeah. That's it, guys. The flow control chamber is in. There it is, it is in. Only 1.5 meters deep this time, not three meters deep. But I didn't film because I was in the trench. Uh, a little bit muddy and poopy, but it's in. Flow control chamber. So now Andy's gonna stone it all up. Backfill, hardcore, uh, planings done. Drainage complete. About time, now we've just got to connect it up at that end. Lovely stuff. I'm gonna get changed. Uh, so guys, out of the out of the drainage, uh, Andy's just backfilling. I'm just having a sit, having a drink. On a lovely new chair. And these two have been cracking on. I don't know what Sam showed you, but I'll find out. And obviously you would have seen it by now. Uh, but look, got two lovely lights. Got all cabling wires. Got a light switch up here. Got plug sockets down there for the fridge and the uh, washing machine. And that's where the kitchen cabinets are going. Oh, it is epic. Chunky's in his element as well. With Chunky's skills firmly placed in the electrical arena, uh, I'm on uh, some deliveries. Could they use better place down there? Uh, we need some more type one. You can see guys where our type one has changed from pink granite to gray granite. Uh, pardon me, prefer the gray granite. Yeah, so I've got to take some crush uh, and then to the same house, take some sharp, so two loads. Some absolute pillock has left. Uh, oh, that's all right, I thought I covered them up. Had left a couple of spades on there. Oh, spades. Lovely. Hello, guys, it's Friday, as you all know. It's a sunny and bright Friday now. The rain has stopped. Um, Limpy and Larry and Morgie over here got the uh, trench, you know, hole done, finished, backfill, drainage, all complete. Me and Chunky have completed the staff room, we're on to the shop area now, and it's lunchtime. Uh, and as it's payday for young legs. Oh, no, oh, man, what you got there, man? Man, it's burger, man. Well, it's look, show, show the viewers, Connor, mate. What is it? Uh, pepper steak burger. Pepper yeah. steak burger. <laughs> So I didn't even ask him. None of us asked him for lunch this week. No, not at all, mate. No, we didn't, mate. And uh, he's just come back. He said he's nipping to the shop, mate, he said. Just go to the shop, mate. Get some milk, mate. And he's come back, look. <laughs> look, bacon rolls and all that, look. Uh, we look after him, didn't we? And in return, he looks after us. It's lovely. We have a lovely team well, here. Uh, Jack's gone on delivery, so he's going to have a cold roll when he gets back. But hey-ho. Wrong, Jack ain't got a roll, so we best eat these four jackets back. Right, well, everyone, eat up then. Hi, guys. We are having a bit of a tidy up. But I'll show you in here. We had a lovely little tidy up. Got all of our tools we don't need back, and we put a nice shelf in here. Look, I know it's not exciting, but look at this lovely shelf. Look, that was a little bargain Sam picked up from our neighbours. Nation. Uh, and we've just bought some skirting, primed skirting. Chunky has smashed up the electrics, I'll show you in a bit. And Andy finished the drainage, backfilled. I'll go over and show you that as well. It's a bit windy, so I apologise if the sound quality is rubbish. And he is starting to dig our first post hole for the back wall of the bays. So the first is going to be a channel section. So one of these here, one of these channels. It's going to sit butted up tight to the concrete wall. So we get that channel in the ground, two meters, concrete it in, and then also bolt it. So bolt it to this wall, so it'll support this wall as well as being concreted in. And then obviously, yeah, measure out six meters post hole, six meters post hole, well, roughly six meters. Some of the uh, some of the panels need to be cut. Lovely. I'm going to show you the drainage. Where there was once a trench, uh, some might say a contentious trench, with some of the comments we had, uh, there is now no trench. 
We just have risers. They obviously need to be cut down to height with lids. We've got the lids over by the port cabin. So surface water, foul water, foul water, surface water, flow control chamber, off, down that way, into the road. Job is a good one, guys. We can now plumb in all of the services at the main port cabin. We're going to get the two, get the, uh, the port cabin and the container moved to here. To get these airfish, put them here because that's going to have a little hoop roof over it uh, behind the bays. Get the bays in. God, it feels close, guys. We're getting there now. Steam, steam is being produced. We are full steam ahead. Lights. And look, we've even got, this is care of Graham, the uh, shop that was shutting down that me and Sam went to. Look at this, look. Curtain heater over the door. Professional outfit. All them windows shut, that door's locked. Yeah. Lights are off. We're shut them. Not a bad day, Jack, really. Yeah, isolate on the box, are we? Just... I suppose they need to, but. Alright, no, that was it. Probably a long time when we're here, isn't it? It is, Sam. Um... Yeah, it's getting there, mate. It is getting there. Look, even, look, even here. Ha! Ah. Yeah, let there be lights. I showed him earlier the uh, first switch on, and I said to him, it's the first bit of electrical actual power on this site ever. It is, yeah, it's it first is. First light switch to go on on this site. Yeah. I've already said we're going to celebrate you're going to have the first poo on site. Yeah, we've got a flag in it, watch it go down. <laughs> Send it on its way. Uh, right, oh. right, lock up. Thank you, guys. Right, that's us done at the yard, guys. Sam's gonna go pick up the micro. This oh, one's yes higher. Yes uh, is taking the grab, another load of dirt away for Cavanum on Monday. Andy is going home, and me and Connor are gonna go back to the yard. I oh, know he's going, I think Andy's going back to wash his truck for MIT tomorrow, I think. Lovely. Uh, okay then, come on then, Connor. So guys, that is the end of another week at the uh, Daneslow Enterprise. Danslow uh, Emporium. Uh, yes, well, we, we will have an Emporium soon. Of bits and bobs and toots and tat. Yeah, bits and bobs, toots and tat. We had a good week this week. Well, I always said to Jack that we should open up, when we get the yard sorted, we should open up a bit of a second-hand shop of all the hoarding stuff that we collect. Well, like a thrift store? Yes, yeah, so I think we'd make good money out of it. Just a container full of shit. Yeah, well, I mean, second-hand building materials, I think, it works. Like a, like oh, a reclaimed go... building materials. Oh, obviously, yeah. And I think we should go into the second-hand tour. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We have got a lot... We've got... That tent's obviously a big space to fill. Oh, I'm worried now, yeah. Pardon? What are you saying, Connor? My lie, mate. What, do you have 12? Mate, that's worth more than your head, mate. Connor wants Sam to sell the F12. Picture, Connor, picture here. give me a lovely bacon roll picture here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we've had a good week, I think. All told. Well, Ruth had the funniest job, but it's been nice to do two days down the yard. I don't know yeah, we've cracked on today. Today was the first time it felt close. Like, I know we're a few weeks away from opening, but it felt ever so close today. Uh, the point where it got me was putting that, I must hold them earlier, the curtain heater up. Yes. Because that, that, that's like... I mean, even Connor said it's like Tesco's. It is. It's like Tesco's with more sand and gravel. Yeah, you just walk in, it feels like you're walking into Tesco's. Yeah. So that was nice, Connor, thank that you. That was nice. We just got to do the bays. Are you looking forward to it, Connor? Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Connor's birthday next week. Connor! How are you? Connor's birthday. How's it going to be? If you can tell them, mate, they wish, all, all the viewers will wish hey, you happy birthday in the comments. Well, no, I don't. I don't tell them. I notice you ain't do already. Oh. Connor's going to be 22. So, everyone in the comments, wish Connor a really happy birthday. Because when this video comes out, you won't be here next Friday, will you? are off, aren't you? He's off for his birthday when this video drops. Oh. So, wish him a happy birthday. So when you're away on your holidays for your birthday, you can sit and watch the Danes like YouTube comments and they'll all be wishing you a happy birthday. They yeah, will. you can actually like and subscribe for once. Yeah. 
Multiple times. Yeah, it helps the algorithm, Connor. Yeah, if you unsubscribe, then subscribe again. Yeah, exactly. It's all activity, mate. Yeah, it means that the days don't change. Just start a new activity. account, Connor. It's not hard. Yeah. You work here. Yeah. Well, it's private, Jack. Buy subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Buy subscribers. 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 Yeah. Buy I say to Jack actually how loyal you lot are towards us. Yeah, I mean we've had a few, uh, a few, <laughs> a few keyboard warriors, uh, a few dick to the heads. But to be fair, if they work for a big firm, I mean they don't even sit on the dumper when they're being loaded. You seen that? Yeah. Yeah, no. The, 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 the world's gone crazy, mate. The, the, the shit you can't do anymore. Back in the day, you could do what you wanted, and no one would turn a blind eye. But now you can't sit on a dumper when they're loading your. I know. The, what I said earlier was, what about uh, like extreme sports people? They're yeah. like, what's up? Why? That's all right. I bet these people are on the videos of like uh, Travis Pastrana jumping out of a plane with no parachute. Oh, great work, man. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we're in a trench. Yeah, they're not sitting there saying, actually, health and safety on a field day if I saw you jumping out of a plane with a yeah. parachute on. So we appreciate the level headed comments of. It's the real world, and we don't want to. We don't want to not show you things because it is the real world. Yeah, and we don't want to be picking out and picking through the comments every week. Yeah, and we're I mean, not. We don't, we don't take offence. No, we're but not we dangerous. Will, well, we I, you say that. <laughs> you say we don't take offence. Uh, following, me. following on from the Humpty Dumpty comment, someone said mm, more like a Teletubby. Yeah, so we'll put, we'll nip that in the bud now. <laughs> If we can show Jack some love in the comments as well, that'd be great. Because I've had it for a couple of weeks. Now it's Jack's turn. I was saying, so, because I, I do a lot of the filming, let's face it. So I'm obviously filming Sam doing stuff. So Sam's the goat. He's the carpenter of the year. Yeah. He's all the, I mean, even Connor gets the love. And then because yeah, no, I'm, but it's not I'm this background filming. character, there's like fucking Humpty Dumpty walking about. But I do say it because it's true. Not the Humpty Dumpty. What, part. Teletubby? <laughs> no, no. I've got a TV in my tummy. <laughs> the Humpty Dumpty, not that yeah, part, mate. no. You're just, you're multi-skilled in other ways, Jack. Yeah, so we're going to have a whole episode next week of me doing spreadsheets. <laughs> yes. Because uh, I'm good at spreadsheets. And they'll be unsubscribed. Yeah. Unsubscribe. Yeah, we'll get a whole new uh, consortium. Yeah. Okay, well, on that note, uh, we are going to go home. No, I'm going to do the camper. I'm going I, should, home. I should be here about 10 o'clock tonight. Jack's got a takeaway tonight. What are you having? Oh, I don't know. I can't work it out. I've told no, Jack to have his we, favourite We've curry. just led on from this Jack's overweight bollocks. Which I am. <laughs> and now it sounds like Jack's takeaway tonight. <laughs> Like, I don't have to take away all the time. I literally, well, like, once a month. No, it's your choice tonight. But it's my choice tonight. I'm not going to take away tonight at all. The payday's I'm take away. I'm going to McDonald's and take it away. Yeah, beef turtles, mate. <laughs> you got some beef turtles, dear, Connor, mate. Right, <laughs> We're filming, Connor. All right, sorry. That's all right. All right, say goodbye, Connor. If you can't say anything constructive, Connor. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> I like the way Connor's getting on. It's nice that Legs is getting oh, on film, isn't it, guys? No. Yeah. Oh, I need to get the phone Oh, it's just something in my face, mate. I can't move. You've chosen to sit there, mate. <laughs> That's why they call you legs, because you can move, mate. Legs are Anyway, anyway Friday. Goodbye. Have a, a good weekend. Lovely evening. Ciao, ciao. Ciao to the beach and the men to the heat. Yeah, yeah. Ah.